This is the Mutter Long Range Wireless Cooking Thermometer. Uh, included with the digital thermometer are the instructions uh, an approximately three foot long or a little over three feet long uh, probe with the cable, the transmitter base, and then of course the portable uh, thermometer display. Uh, Two AAA batteries are required for the display and also two are required for the transmitter as well. Uh, the instructions themselves are basically a little two inch by two inch piece of paper with some basic instructions and I don't think they're particularly good. Uh, I think they should be more detailed with the features. Uh, and there's also no warranty information indicated in the instructions for the thermometer which kind of leads me to believe that uh, the uh, thermometer uh, Warranties 90 days or less with this. Um, this is one of these type of devices I really want to like, and I actually do like, but a lot of shortcomings are with come with this that that force me to, to like it a little bit less than I really do. Um, the thermometer and the transmitter stand are both uh, have plastic like plastic casings, and it's kind of lightweight and to me feels a bit fragile. Uh, and even the, the short little instructions indicate not to drop it. Uh, so for this, I'd like to see a little bit more sturdy design uh, for this uh, thermometer because uh, I, I don't think it could withstand uh, a drop of any kind uh, without something happening to it. Um, now, with this, I initially missed on the, the uh, transmitter the little switch here, which is kind of hidden down here. For powering up, as you can see, a little red LED comes on and flashes, indicating it's transmitting. Um, and, you know, again, that's something that's not included in the instructions, so you know, I initially didn't see that. So uh, the thermometer itself, let me power it on here, has a nice large display uh, that includes the meat selection, wellness level, target temperature, current temperature, and then up here in the corner, the transmitter indicator. Uh, there's no backlight on this. Uh, I would have liked to see that with this, but I mean that's relatively minor for me, but uh, there is no backlight. The front of the thermometer has uh, the several buttons. It has the on-off switch, the meat selection, taste, uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, and then the manual settings, uh, which I'll get into here in a second. But uh, the back of the thermometer has a clip on it uh, for wearing on your belt or on a shirt, uh, since this is wireless and you can carry it around with you. Uh, and, and I was actually surprised with the range of this thermometer. It's actually really good. Uh, it indicates it's capable of reading at, at 100 feet. I didn't get that far with it, but I did walk uh, at least 50 feet away from the transmitter and still got an indicator showing the temperature. So, um, But there's some things that are a little odd with this. Uh, particular thermometer though uh, one of the oddities is on the back of this thermometer and I don't know how well you can see it is there's a little pinhole here that indicates Celsius Fahrenheit uh, I initially thought that was a way to change the Celsius Fahrenheit or, or as a reset button but it doesn't appear to do anything because the Celsius Fahrenheit button is on the front here so really not sure what what that's all about uh, and then there's also another little pinhole here for something that doesn't have any kind of markings. In addition to that, on the side, there's a, a QC sticker here that you can see, but underneath that is another uh, empty hole that appears to have, may have been for a probe uh, port, but they didn't put it in here. Uh, I don't know if this, these different little spots here for use, uh, you know, they use this particular casing for a variety of, of, of different uh, versions of this thermometer that have different features. I really don't know. It's just kind of weird uh, that they had these, uh, you know, spots on them that appear to really do nothing. So, I would it would have been nice if they had have included this plug on this thermometer, uh, so you could probe plug the probe in directly. Uh, especially if this transmitter goes bad, then you're kind of stuck because it, you know, no longer works at all. Um, you know, with this, as you can see, the screen's easy to read. Um, with lots of cooking options, including the different meats, you know, beef, veal, chicken, lamb, as you can see like that, all that, hamburger, uh, pork. Uh, but the, the one thing about this that seems odd is that the presets all seem to be uh, about, let me put it on well done here for beef, 
about 10 to 15 degrees off from what they're actually supposed to be in some instances. Um, I don't, and they're too, and it's reading too high. Um, I don't know why this is. And unfortunately, there's no way to change the presets uh, on any of these. And I'm not really sure why they've got the settings so high for all the different meats. So, um, luckily, there's a manual setting here uh, that you can that you can manually set. As you can see, that flashing uh, for uh, your own uh, temperature setting because most of the you know if you're wanting well done is in the 160 to 165 degree range for most things. But um, you so you can set your own manual uh, temperature, um, and it keeps. That's the, your last settings when you power this off and back on. Uh, but unfortunately, there's no way to save those individual manual settings, and there's no way to uh, to correct any of these presets and resave those presets either. Um, again, I don't know exactly why they did this, why they set these uh, so incorrect. Uh, I, you know, it's kind of disappointing because again, I like this thermometer for for some of the features that it has, but you're basically relegated to using the manual preset, the manual settings, uh, and these uh, presets are pretty much useless uh, unless you're aware that it's off 10 degrees or so. Um, as far as the cooking temperature itself, it's fairly accurate. It's about a couple degrees from other thermometers that I have and use, uh, but I think that's in a reasonable range for cooking. Uh, the alarm sound is loud enough to alert you. Uh, you know that it's reached the temperature that that you set, and in this case, like I said, uh, you're kind of relegated to to using the manual setting. Now, one of the weaknesses for these types of thermometers, and it's not just this brand, is the, is the temperature probes. Uh, this particular probe, like I said, is a little over three feet in length, but it's fairly standard for this type of thermometers. And of course, the big thing with these types of probes is you got to be careful not to pinch or bend them, or they're going to quickly fail no matter what brand it seems to be. Um, I like this th thermometer in the respect that it has the wireless uh, thermometer feature. It, the range is, is really good, has a cl large clear display, but it really for me it suffers from shortcomings that keep it from being a, being a great option for cooking. Uh, it, it seems to be made a little too lightweight, it needs to be made sturdier because uh, it won't survive a drop, and I don't know about you, but how many times have you dropped uh, your your thermometer? I know I have. Um, it also, uh, you know, lacks a probe port on here that I think it should include as an option. Because if the stand goes bad, then you're really, you know, the, the you know the whole thing is useless. But the big thing for me is the meat presets are off uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees inaccurate. And you can't save your own settings or correct the inaccurate presets. Uh, the instructions are also not particularly good. There's no warranty information with this indicating it's probably 90 days or less. Um, I really like the manual settings uh, as the you know in terms of using them for cooking, uh, but you know unfortunately you can't save them. But the cooking temperatures seem to be fairly accurate within a couple degrees. And it saves the, at least saves the last settings that you have it set to when you power it off. But unfortunately, these other issues kind of hurt the rating for me, and I give this uh, thermometer three and a half stars.